We already knew that the DNC chair, Debbie Do Anything for Hillary Wasserman Schultz, is against democracy, but she actually admitted it in an interview with Bloomberg where she stated that she does not believe independent voters should be allowed to participate in private party primaries. So she says, I believe that the party's nominee should be chosen by members of the party. We should not have independents or Republicans playing games. So let's reiterate what she's saying here. So she's saying independent voters, I think you should be excluded from the process. You don't get to participate in our private club, but when it comes time to vote for our candidate in November, please come back. We want, we want you to come back to the party. Well, you can't have it both ways. Either you want independents to participate and vote for your party or you don't want them to. What you're effectively saying is that you only want their vote when it's convenient for you. But the fact that independent voters are voting for Bernie Sanders over Hillary Clinton, you don't like that because you want to get your corporatist candidate in office. But guess what? That's not fair. That's not how democracy works. Now, let me tell you why she's wrong. Currently, independents now make up the largest share of voters in the country, according to Gallup. So 42% of the country identifies as independents now, and only 29% actually identify as Democrats, and 26% identifies as Republicans. And trust me, those numbers would be even lower if there weren't closed primaries, because I'm registered as a Democrat only because... I want to vote for Bernie Sanders, but as soon as the convention is over, I'm going to switch to an independent because I don't think the Democratic Party supports me, so I don't want to register as a Democrat and then let them think that they have my support. Now, her admitting this is just further proof that she is not in favor of democracy. She wants to win by authoritarian means. We've seen this with uh, Tim Canova, Alex Law, and Bernie Sanders, how she shut off their access to van so that way they weren't allowed to access their own voter files. We saw this how she corroborated with the Clinton campaign to set up debates in a way that would limit people from watching it. And as we saw, viewership was not very high in many of them. And additionally, she's actively fighting against Democratic senators like Elizabeth Warren. She's fighting against her agency that protects people from banks and predatory payday lenders that like to fraud people. And she's perfectly okay with just teaming up with the Republicans. This is the head of the Democratic Party. And let's not forget that under Debbie Do Anything for Hillary Wasserman Schultz's leadership, Democrats have lost the House, they've lost the Senate, and they could lose the White House in November. So if you can ruin an already terrible party, then my hat goes off to you. I mean, bravo, that takes, that takes a lot. To take something that's shitty and make it even shittier, that honestly requires talent. And Debbie Wasserman Schultz has proven time and again that she has that particular talent to do just that. So I'm glad that you actually admitted that you're against democracy, but nobody's surprised. See, she would love independence if they actually voted for Hillary Clinton and if they would help Hillary Clinton in November. But the fact that independents will most likely go to Donald Trump by large numbers in November, it scares Debbie. And it should scare Debbie. You tried to rig the process for Hillary Clinton. So we have to defeat Debbie Wasserman Schultz, even though there's been multiple petitions with thousands of signatures urging her to step down as DNC chair. She's not doing it. So the only way we can get her out is if we defeat her and we support Tim Canova's campaign. He is her progressive challenger, who's a true Bernie Krat, like Bernie Sanders himself, who's not taking corporate money like Debbie do anything for Hillary Wasserman Schultz. So if you really want to get rid of Debbie, you have to make sure that you support Tim Canova.